But what the scriptures are anxious to say, it's far more important that we be spiritually strong as a nation than that we be militarily strong. It's not enough to be militarily strong. If we are militarily strong, but we are spiritually weak as a nation, uh, we are going to go down. And that's why it's critical, I believe, to have a commander-in-chief who is a Christian-in-chief first and then is our commander-in-chief. Absolutely critical that we have a man who is commander-in-chief, who sits in the Oval Office, who has a personal relationship with the God of the Bible. Not the God of the Book of Mormon, not the God of the Quran, but the God of the Old and New Testament. 